What's going on YouTube? It's What's the Hype back with another video and in today's video I thought it'd be interesting to go over some trends that were pretty big in 2021 and I think they'll continue to be more than trends in 2022 and just become pretty normal and popular. If you do enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you think I'm right about something or wrong about something let me know in the comments I'm always trying to learn so don't be shy from telling me I'm wrong about something. With that being said let's get it. In 2021, New Balance, I feel like, really took over and made its mark on the streetwear as well as just fashion communities in general and became pretty popular. And I would mostly credit this to, in my opinion, I think it comes from their collaborations, but specifically with Ame Leon Dor. ALD bringing back the 550 was a really big move for New Balance, and because New Balance did this, it paid off, and I think we'll continue to see more models become more popular in the future. I'm really excited for the 650, I pre-ordered a pair of the greys. 990s also made a big move for New Balance, they've always been in my opinion their most popular model when I think lifestyle shoes, but due to celebrities wearing this as well as collaborations, what comes to the top of my head are the Joe Fresh Goods and Bodega pairs, just really helped stabilize New Balance and continue to keep them popular. And finally with New Balance, the 992 model I also felt like was very popular and in my opinion as you'll see in the upcoming pictures, I feel like this is their best collabed on pair, if that's what you would phrase it as I don't even know, but the amount of collaborations that have gone well on this pair as well as having good clean general release colorways of the 992s I think also is a big move for New Balance and we'll continue to see these thrive in 2022. Moving into the next trend that I think will continue to stay relevant and popular throughout 2022 is the support of smaller brands. Now this can be streetwear, menswear, whatever it is, I saw a lot of brands either blow up from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, um, I think those were like the three contributing factors, social media um, platforms kind of promoting and providing information on these smaller companies and it really paid off in my opinion. I was able to find a lot of new brands that I like at good price points too with the smaller brands there's a lot of really underrated things. Not only are you supporting a smaller brand usually it's more less expensive and it just feels better buying than like from big companies sometimes. Gorpcore and specifically Arcteryx were very big in 2021 and I think this will only continue to get bigger and it'll become more popular and mainstream throughout 2022 and I'm not mad at that. As I said in my Gorpcore videos, which have been doing well is a good sign of showing you that Gorpcore is becoming popular based on how my videos have done lately that talk about them, but because of the way they fit on everybody, it looks good on everybody, you're buying usually sustainable clothing and it's just good high quality clothes that last a while, I can see this continuing to be a big thing for a long time. Now the trend in popularity of Jordan 1s is probably what I'm least confident on as continuing out in 2022, but there were a lot of really good colorways that dropped throughout 2022, and this has been my favorite Jordan models for as long as I can remember in middle school. Um, I love the Jordan 1s, and they're just a classic clean shoe and I feel like they got the respect they finally deserved in 2022 and I think people will continue to wear these. In 2021 it seems like skinny denim was done and I'm honestly very happy for that. Skinny jeans never fit me well and seeing models like 501s, 505s, 517s from Levi's as well as any kind of straight, regular, or baggy cuts of jeans become more popular I was really fond of. I think they look better with sneakers, really any sort of footwear which I'll get into after this but I'm just really glad to see skinny denim gone but let me know if you guys think it'll come back. In 2021 footwear I feel like loafers as well as derbies had a really big year and I'm not mad at this at all. I think it looks really good personally when you mix menswear with streetwear and in my opinion ALD does a really good job at this and I think this is what helped them do so well in 2021 because they're able to find a mix between both of those looks. But two people I think did it really well as well are Tyler the Creator and ASAP Rocky. Finishing up the video, I have a pretty basic statement, but boots in general, I saw a lot of the fashion YouTubers I typically watch switch over from sneakers instead to wearing boots now, and I think it looks really good. It fits in with most of the silhouettes people are wearing and find popular right now, clothing wise, so I think this will continue to be big throughout 2022, and there's a lot of good models to pick up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if I'm right about something or wrong, let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see in 2022, or maybe what you'd expect to see in 2022 continue to be big. 
if you do enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe it helps me out and i want to continue building an audience thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace